Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for March 12th, 13th, and 14th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, I am using my Radley Valentine decks. I am using my Angel Tarot cards for the main message. I'll pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I'll also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. Now, I am, in what, I am what people say is an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job just deliver the message. And it's really good when I don't have to understand it. Now, a couple of things going on. Remember that the 13th at 521 a.m., Pisces new moon, a new moon, remember full moon to new moon is waning, that's where we release and relinquish, new moon to full moon is waxing, that's when it's getting bigger, that's when we request, now full moon of course is release, relinquish and request, but the new moon is great for new starts, new, you know, new beginnings, new projects, and we will be entering into, you know, we're finishing out the astrological year, and then we will be entering when Aries starts the new astrological year. So, and that will have a little bit of the, you know, have a little bit of fire energy because of being with Aries. Couple of things that's been kind of going on this week. I don't know about you, and I will be um, answering. I will be going in. We're looking at my comment. I look at them on my phone. I have old technology, so you know I don't answer it on my phone. But, um, you know, I will be going on my computer tomorrow to answer my comments. So just to let you know that. But I don't know about you, but I have, seen, been, I have been inundated, I think, since Sunday. Um, I, it, I, could, I, I do believe it was a little, it was coming, but not quite as much. I've been inundated with those repeating numbers. Now, the thing that's been so interesting is that, you know, it started out, and I'll tell you, it was like, zero zero one then it would be like one zero zero one zero one one zero one zero one 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 so i had you know a lot of them they were all in different combinations but then it would i would have it interspersed with the twos doing the same pattern then it was the not a lot of the threes but a lot of the fours and then there was some of the fives i did not have any of the sixes sevens eights or nines but I had a lot, everything seemed, you know, and, and the repeating numbers themselves were there, but there was a lot of zeros. So, you know, it'd be the 1010, 2020202, 3 you know, it was just very much these repeating numbers. And, you know, zero in itself is a universal energy. A lot of times it's kind of like the God energy. So I don't know if you've been having that. I've been having that to the point that, you know, you're trying not to even look at a clock. You're trying not to even look at numbers because you know you're going to see it again. So I think that that means to me, and whenever we're getting a lot of repeating numbers, I tell you to go and look it up on the Internet. You know, just go ahead and, you know, look on whatever your search engine is for the, you know, like repeating numbers, angel numbers, things like that. To me, there's a lot of God energy because I kept seeing a lot of that, or universal energy. I kept seeing a lot of those zeros, those zero zeros. I would almost say that it was binary, except that I know that binary is only the ones and the zeros. There's no twos, threes, or fours, or fives that I believe is with binary, and I don't know binary code. But I was, I was getting a lot of these. And so I think that this is a time that... Angels are, t or the um, spiritual, is trying to make some connections. So I think I am going to go out on a limb a little bit and say that this could be a very big weekend for us in the supernatural realm. Um, it may be a time that we want to do some meditation. We want to do, you know, prayer. If that's what you do, that's what I do. And, you know, and possibly get out in nature, things like that. But if this has been... I do feel that when I'm seeing these numbers, a lot of this has been like angel energy trying to connect, trying to say, hey, you know, and so my question is, what do you want? 
<laughs> so I don't know if you've been feeling, you know, we have been feeling a lot of energy shifts. We are, you know, we are, in, you know, getting more and more into an age with Aquarius. So, um, you know, it's just these numbers, like I said, I've been, I've been really trying not to look at the clock because, you know, once, you know, no, no, don't look. Or just look at anything that has numbers on it. It's like, no, I'm not going to look. And then, sure enough. But again, there's a lot of zeros in this, these numbers that I've been seeing. And there's, a, you know, that's a lot of universal. Remember, the fool, the new beginning, um, you know, they have a lot of zero energy. So just wanted to put that out there. See who else? Like I said, I will be tomorrow um, going on and you know, looking at or answering my comments, so just letting you know that too. So we will begin the readings. Hello, my Pisces, and happy birthday to you. Now, let's see what we have going. So your new moon, so this is really big for you. New moon, get out there, make your wishes, put out what you've been wanting, things like that, because the new moon, new beginnings, and this is your new moon, okay? Okay, let's go on and see what we have here. Okay, right now we have a reversed card. One, two, and three. Three cards face down. The reversed cards have a little stronger energy. That's how I read them. So let's see what we have from my Pisces. Here we go. First card, the wish card. Oh my gosh, you definitely have to make your list. Make your list of what it is you want to embark on. Yes, I know it's not full moon energy, but this can be really big. Let's get started because remember, this is, you know, as you're ending this, um, you know, this month, this season, this is getting you ready for something really big to happen. Now, nines, nines have a really interesting energy. A lot of times that you can say that they're like a finish. But a lot of times a nine is a completion also. It's kind of like lesson learned, let's move on. You know, it's now let it go so that you can move forward. Water energy is your energy. It is also Cancer and Scorpio, fluid, very emotional. But the nine of water, the nine of cups, the nine of Raphael are all the wish, that's the wish card. So again, you've got the new moon, Get out there, and, and you know, what I like to do too, and I know I do it more with the full moon, but I do, you know, feel that especially for you, the new moon, new beginning, is write it down, but then speak it out, because we are, we have a lot of that Aquarius and that Gemini air energy going, and, and words have meaning, words have power, put it out there, what is it, what, you know, do you know what you've been wanting? That's also a big thing, too. So this weekend could be about you learning and figuring out what is it that you've really been wanting. Okay? Okay. Your wish comes true. Concerns fade away. A love of life. Your next card, ego. Okay. Ego is interesting, too. Archangel Jophiel. Um, you know, this is a 15, so we have a 555. Could be change. We have the one, new beginnings, new start, again, five, you know, so, um, you know, that's about change also. So, you know, the ego is kind of like, sometimes we get in the way of our own path, okay? Sometimes, instead of giving this up to higher power, your guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, the archangels that they send you, and sometimes instead of, giving this to the spiritual, giving this to our supernatural, the light, however you want to call this. You know, sometimes we give it up and then we take it back. And it's kind of like, you know, well, okay, I'm going to trust you as long as you do that the way I want you to do. But if you're not going to do it the way I want you to do it, then I'm going to take it back because I want it done the way I want it done. And the thing is, that's not how this all works. I mean, you can take it back. And you can do it the way you want it, but many, many times over, and trust trust someone who's been there and done that. Uh, you know, usually when I just give it, and I go, oh, no, 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 I'm not taking it back. I'm not, and I, and I have that faith. And, some, and many times when I just step out on that faith, then it actually shows me why I had that faith. Okay, so, so this is, this, this has a little bit of, there's a lot of wishes, there's a lot of grand energy coming for you. Be careful that you don't get in your own way, okay? 
Now, sometimes getting in the own way is because you're a little bit afraid to give it up. Maybe it's kind of like, you know, again, it's kind of like, I, I want to give this to you, I want, but then maybe the supernatural higher powers vision for you is bigger than what you think you can do. So you're, again, it's kind of like a little tug of war, like, well, yeah, you know, or maybe I don't like it the way you're doing this. So there's, there's a little bit of a conflict with um, ego, okay? So ego, also too with ego, it's kind of like, well, if I do this, will I look foolish? Okay, anyway. Ego, a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. This one's reversed, so that's also strong. And there's a seven of water. So sevens have a divine umbrella. It's a divine number. It's a perfect number. And many times over, it's you do what you need to do, and then again, kind of like what we've been talking about. You give it up to your higher power and let your higher power take that and run with it. Water energy, again, your, water, your, energy, your energy, your sign. And then, comp, you know, this is about, this is kind of like, what are you going to do with this? I, you know, it's, you know, this could be, um, you know, I, what decision are you going to make? What are you, you know, are you going to trust in that supernatural? Or are you going to trust in what you can do? Sometimes, you know, you might need to, like I said, do some prayer, some meditation. You need to make some connection. Um, you know, sometimes, am I going to take this back? Well, the Seven of Water talks about complex decisions, emotional decisions. You know, what am I going to be doing? You know, a lot of times it's it's kind of a, um, um, really, it's going to be a really good time for you to, um, you know, I'm kind of getting, like, get your head on straight. Think about what you really, really want and then go for that also. So you, you've got some, you've got some really positive energy here. But then there's some soul-searching energy here, too. So then there's kind of, I'm kind of even feeling that it's like, you know, sometimes when everything looks really good and really perfect, sometimes that's when you want to kind of say, well, maybe I'm ready to not necessarily, you know, maybe I'm ready to leave. Or things are so close, and maybe I'm ready to leave. Maybe I don't really want it anymore. So those are some decisions that you might be needing to think about, pray about, want, you know, my thought is we have, you know, the moon energy does affect everybody. The moon, no matter what phase it's in, because it, you know, just look at the oceans, you know, look at the waterways, all, you know, the moon affects that. We are, what is it, 80% water, so it will affect us also. My thought is don't make any radical decisions right now or this weekend because there is, you know, because you may be pushed um, into, you know, you may, you, you may respond more on that emotional basis or that you might give more of an emotional response than necessarily what you would have done maybe, you know, as the week goes in, okay? But the thing is, you know, you've got this wishes, you've got to watch out for your own self, and I think that's what the thing is. It's are you getting in your own way you're going to have to make some decisions about that. You're going to have to, like, what, you know, you know, when, when, we just, when we just start putting our own blocks up and we know that we're putting blocks up and we just are too stubborn to possibly kind of say, hey, I'm making a mistake, I'm, you know, I'm messing up, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done this, you know, and sometimes we get in our own way. So, you know, you've, you've got a really complex weekend for you, my Pisces. Um, you know, again, you know, I keep getting, you know, that nine of water is so wonderful, but again, it, you know, between the ego and the seven of water, it's kind of like, you know, you might be, you know, kind of blocking or getting in the way of, um, some of your blessings, if you want to call it that way, or, um, I, you know, there might be a little bit of a stubborn streak going on right now. So, you know, kind of step back from that, look over and don't necessarily respond in the moment if you can. Look to see a little bit further, okay? Okay, here we go. A complex decision, the need to do research, stop procrastinating. Let's see if we can get a little more clarification with my uh, Archangel Power Tarot cards, or my Power Archangel. Anyway, let's go on. For my Pisces. 
Yeah, because my Pisces, I just feel like there's like this block now, you know, and I feel like there could be some anger, you know, it, and it's kind of, you know, it, it's like that, that time when you're having a wonderful, wonderful weekend and that one little thing that really was inconsequential and it just kind of um, gets, everything gets blown out of proportion. So I think those are the, that's the decision kind of energy that I'm picking up on. Anyway, let's go on and see what we have here. Reversed. The Four of Ariel. Okay, so Ariel is Earth energy. It's very solid energy. It's very tangible. It's something you can touch, feel. You know, it, a lot of times it's money. It could be about your home. It could also be about your job, your work, your career, how you receive your money. Okay? Fours have a really good solid energy. There's also some organization to the energy. It's some stability with the energy here too. So part of this is, you know, part of this is also saying in, in the reality, so a lot of this has the spiritual, a lot of this has the emotional energy, a lot of this has the intangible energy. So it's kind of like you need to walk both paths. You need to walk while one foot might be more in that emotional, you have to keep the other foot in more of the reality and be more grounded okay so the four of ariel is about kind there's some compromise here there's also kind of the seeing things from the other person's perspective there's a little bit stepping away and being you know having some grounding energy from all of this emotional energy now you know because i mean i've known people that have like 75 90 percent of emotional of water in their signs and those people are so empathetic that, you know, that they, it's very hard for them to even leave their house, okay? So for you, my Pisces, you know, you have all this water energy, you have this moon ener new moon energy, you need to make sure, what is it that will keep you more in that grounded time, okay? Because you could be so, you know, your, your sensitivity can be so high up during this weekend, you need to do something to keep yourself grounded, so does that make sense? I hope it does. I hope it, hope it does. Because the people that I know have a lot of water energy, a lot of that energy is Pisces. So, um, you know, you need, to, you need to do something to keep yourself grounded. Now, how, what is that for you? You know, a lot, if you're able to, if the weather is nice, um, a lot of that is walk outside, you know, with, your, with bare feet. Taking a bath. A bath was very good for you, too, though there's still that water energy. There's hug a tree, you know, think about Taurus, think about Capricorn, think about Virgo type of energy, okay? Crystals. So it's a good weekend for you to, you know, to try to stay grounded as much as you can because it looks like your emotions can be the ruler this weekend and it could keep you from, you know, I, I, you know, comp I don't know, I, it could keep you from really you know, from this, the blessings of this nine of water, the blessings of this wish card. Does that make sense? Anyway, when you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change, extremes in how you save or spend money. You know, I want to pull one other card for you here because there's a little bit more to this story and I want to see what we might have here. So let's see what we've got because... There's just a little more to this story here. Oh, okay. This one flew out. Okay, that makes sense. Doesn't that make sense? Archangel Shamuel. So remember, Jophiel, remember Shamuel. You have a one. One, new beginnings. Two is decisions. Some decisions to make. You have decisions here. So there's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. So sometimes you can get a little bit caught up in how you always do it. You know, what's the thing? If you always do what you always did, you always get what you always got. So this is a, this is a good time for you to look at things a little bit differently. Step outside of yourself. Um, you know, and when you're feeling a little bit sensitive, when you're feeling a little bit more on that emotional side, look for what is, you know, kind of figure out. Maybe figure out now, you know, figure out beforehand what it is that helps to keep you in the moment. Okay, so that when that happens, you know, sometimes it's, um, you know, sometimes 
counting backwards from 100, counting backwards from 10, something to keep you grounded. I think that's going to be important. Well, let's see what crystal or energy is helpful for my Pisces this weekend. Here we go. Blue Topaz. I do not have blue Topaz, but finding a spiritual ally, higher wisdom, abundance, forgiveness. So again, too, you have a, you know, again, it, it is, you know, it, this, the perspective, the, you know, seeing things from both sides, not getting in your own way, leads you back. I mean, you have the wish card, the new start, the new beginning, and it's what do you really want from your life, okay? Okay. You've got some interesting stuff here, my Pisces. So, remember the button down there. Please like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate when you do, so thank you. As always, my Pisces, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.